what do you see when uh, you're watching these these Colts, especially lately? It feels like you know they're they're a different team than they were first month and a half of the season or so. Oh yeah, they're a real good team, man. You know they got real goal line, good running back, good lot, good playmakers, good quarterback. You know we just you know we can't prepare for the battle, so we just can't wait to get the. Their offensive line is, um, you know, I think most people consider them one of the best in the league. Oh yeah. What is it about them that, that makes them so effective from what you see? Um, one, they're big and you know, athletic and they're fast. And you know, they got Quentin Nelson, real good guard, the Ron Kelly, you know, with the, with the Bama, that's crazy. But yeah, they all real good guard, real good, real good line. They're veterans and they all play well together. Can you keep that same like attitude and mojo that you had for the seven games? And sometimes the break kind of, kind of messes things up. Can you keep what you did earlier to, to this last four games? Oh, um, nah, man. Like, I know I'm. Me, like, or the whole team, we come in with the same, I don't care how long we are, we're going to come back with the same as we had, you know, when we first literally playing two and four. So we got that two and four mindset. It ain't going to never go away. So to me, it's like, um, okay, um, we came back, we're still good, we're going we gonna to keep doing what we're doing. How important is it to keep that two and four mindset? Um, really, to me, I, like, I love it, you know what I'm saying, underdogs, you know what I'm saying, out the mud. Because that's the one, really, the, the guys like us, you know, we're going to be real dangerous. So we're going to keep coming with the two and four mindset every day. When you got drafted um, back in April, and you knew you obviously were coming here to the Patriots, is competing in December for a playoff spot and where you guys are, what you kind of imagined it'd be like playing here? Um, no, that was all God given. You know, that was all God right there, man. You know, I was just trying to do my part and be the best player I can be for this team. And you know, I know it was good. I knew we was good at this team. We just had to get find ourselves and be real good. And you know, I'm glad we were on the right track. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to work on. We still got, we still gonna be better than we are. And I think we're gonna be we're gonna be more better. What's it feel like to be a, an established good team, 9-4? I mean, I know we talked about the 2-4 mindset, but you're a good team going on the right to play another good team. Like, this is kind of why you play the game, right? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing every day because we, how we, how would we deter ourselves and come in every day, keep, keep on winning, I mean, keep on grinding, and keep on just having that, that mindset. It's just a blessing because I know we're going we gonna to keep getting better. Christian, you're on the bye week, then you go on the road. You guys are undefeated on the road. What makes this team so good when they're away from the Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, well, me, I love playing on the road. You know, I love being the enemy. You know what I'm saying? And I love, I know my team, I just, I love, you know, when we go to somebody else and, you know, do our thing. You know what I'm saying? But I love, I love playing on the road, you know, and my guys do too, so I love it. Christian, uh, do you have any defensive linemen that you like to study and kind of take things from any veteran guys or anything like that? You talking about um, NFL or? Yeah, anywhere, but yeah, NFL in particular. Um, well, um, not really. I mean, I like I study a lot of our guys here, and um, you know the guys that used to play here long, like Richard Seymour. The only guy I probably like like I like was Chris Jones, you know, because he's tall and long. I like 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 him, but I like watching our guys though. How much Seymour tape have you have you watched since you he got here? Oh, uh, we talking about our guys or NFL? Yeah, Richard Seymour, how much tape have you? I watch a lot, man. Still watching, you know, because um, he's a tall guy, you know, long arms, and I love watching guys that like long and tall because you know it's hard, you know, sometimes hard to be staying low. So I love watching guys like them to see how. They, how they, they get better and achieve, they go achieve, they, um, you know, they gifts and everything. So I just love doing that. I don't want it all the time. Christian, did you get a chance to meet Richard Seymour when you yes. were here? It was a blessing. You know, I shook his hand. I shook his hand. We were talking because we was in the game because the Jets. And I shook his hand. I was talking to him. But I wish I would talk to him more. But I'm going to talk to him again. But, you know, it was real crazy. It's an honor meeting him, man. Yep. Christian, did you say underdogs up the mud or underdogs out for blood? Oh, my bad. Yeah, out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep that, keep that mindset. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Being in the NFL now, the seasons are quite a bit longer than the college season, especially if you're going to end up playing in the postseason. Have, have you ever, have you needed to kind of do anything differently to prepare your, your body? Oh, or? yeah, for sure. Definitely. Like, long, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? College be over right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's way more recovery. You know, I can more, I can take care of your body more, more stretching, like cold tub, hot tub. Still got, like, you just got to take care of your body a lot more than you ever had because, like, you know, we got still got a long way to go. You know what I'm saying? So I just you gotta take care of your body more. You can't get lazy off the things you're doing. Has has that been an adjustment for you? Has that come pretty pretty easily? Kind it comes it's adjusting to me, you know what I'm saying? It's just you know, sometimes you ain't gonna feel like but you gotta do it so you can take care of your body, you know what I'm saying? Like especially in the cold, you know what I'm saying? Because like me, like cold, like you know, your body your body gonna get a little cramped, but you guys can keep like literally just take care of your body, you're gonna be all right. Chris, Chris you mentioned how big the Colts linemen are. Uh, I think Kelly's 6'4", Quentin Nelson's 
is it harder for you as a bigger guy to, to work against bigger offensive linemen? Would you rather go against this, you know? Uh, I, really don't, I'm, I ain't going to lie. I don't care who you, how tall you is, how big you are. It does not matter to me. I know the guys say the same thing. You could be seven feet. I don't care. If you're in front of me, you're going to you know, feel my pain. So, yeah. How do you change your approach depending on how, you know? Um, really, I just get the feel of it for the game. You know, get the feel for it. You know, you can't do some things to, you know, like a good guard like Nelson or a good center like Kelly to some like other guys in the league because some other guys are short. You know, these guys are strong, athletic, and quick. So they know everything in the book. So they really kind of good players. So you got to do certain things to do them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I know he was on camps a little bit before you, but Dante Hightower's talked about kind of the, the brotherhood with all the Alabama players. Is Ryan Kelly somebody you've had communication with? Man, I ain't never met him before. You know what I'm saying? But I heard a lot of stories about when I was in Bama. And, um, you know, and the guy was All-American. The guy was like legend in Bama. You know, one of the best players to play in Bama. You know, it was an honor, you know, saying his name and going to get something soon. But, um, nah, it really is a brotherhood, definitely. You know what I'm saying? If you came from Bama, was, you know what I mean? Especially the school. You know, we were in the same era, but, you know, real blessing, yeah. Say one more here. How fun has it been getting on those Georgia guys? And I apologize if you were already asked that. Fun. <laughs> you know how we do it, man, you know? Like them underdogs. Everybody thought they was going to lose. You know, everybody thought they was going to be where they at. And you see what happened, you know? Don't question the GOAT. Save it, man. You know what I mean? Did you just call Alabama underdogs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody thought they was there. Everybody thought Joe was going to beat them. You know what I'm saying? And look what happened, you know? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Appreciate it.